Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my t Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well-equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Eve Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks, and you start to see the damage, not only in the leg, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. 
he is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Overhand punch to the head, blocked though by the Korean Super Bowl. And that one cut him open. Pretty good jab there by Choi. Couple of chins here being tested early. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. The overhand left is true. Joy's strike attempt there is blocked. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Good punch. Oh man, that's hard to watch. Another leg kick lands flush, and if you're the opponent at this point in time, you gotta check something. What are you doing? You gotta adjust. You gotta be doing something different, because to this point, what you're doing is not working. Get close, fight chest to chest, maybe relax on the outside. Don't panic, don't be jumpy. Try to find comfort in knowing that you've done this. You have the reps, you know how to check kick. Just take your time, be comfortable. Get that leg up. It's only going to take one great check to make right. him stop throwing those kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Checks the leg kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Huge block there. Nice punch, Lance. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. 10 seconds to go in the round. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that dude. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel. He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. 
Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive through <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Big kick. Connects with a right. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Nice leg kick land. My favorite rap group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Yeah. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Beautiful kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Strong defense there to block the shot. Beautiful head kick. Nice strike. Lance with the right hand. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. Started to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you put one knee to the body. I'm done. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. Oh, nice right hand. Checks that leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Head kick. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, that cut on his brow is looking ghastly now. You lose blood, the weaker you get. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Oh, a huge block there. Nice. Nice slip to avoid the left. Nice leg kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. 15 seconds to go. Nice body kick right under the elbow. End of round number two.
All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice straight punch. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedowns. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking point. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Just missed with the left there. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Nice one, two there. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by the Korean Super Bowl. Right hand by this young man. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, what a punch. Big power shot there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Good punch lands. Oh, big head kick lands. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big punch land. Come on, buddy. Keep your head. Let's go. Body kick now by the Korean Super Bowl. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Effective strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. 
real quick leg kick. Yeah, left hook found its target. Fifteen seconds. Right on the button. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Chor. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down to the strike that was really damaging his opponent. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Leg kick. Beautiful one. Kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of them. No, you can't. It starts to beat up, beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique really slow down your opponent. Big kick land. Slips the punch. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Oh. Trying to establish that jab once again. Good stick. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Trying to get the knees going. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just over two minutes to go. Effective punch there by Chor. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, You've man. You got to check these kicks, or you're gonna be lifting them up on very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. He can't take any of those kicks. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Splits the guard, lands the right. Back and forth we go. 
able to check the high kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because this is out of the ball. Oh. Oh. Remain in the round. Able to check that kick as well. Fifteen seconds. Twenty minutes down. Potentially five to go. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power Ready? is not equal. And Ready? if he can land, he does have the ability to do damage. Powerful leg kick lands. Beautiful strike. Oh! Right hand lands upstairs. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Oh, that's a nice strike. Man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming Man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Visibly limping here. Big kick lands. That was a thudding leg kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many at all. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice right hand. Big leg kick land. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. You got to check these low leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Right hook to the head block. Oh, counters with an overhand left. He stuck that one. Clipped him with the right hand there. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Punch over the top. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit.
good defense to block the strike coming back. Try to establish that jab. Plus right hand is true. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh man, head kick lands. One minute to go in the fight. Right hand on point. There's no kill on that leg kick. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. 45 seconds remain in the rounds. That's a big strike right there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. A huge win by TKO for him here tonight. A seminal moment in his UFC career, and that could hold up as one of the better TKOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 43 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Hansuka. Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivery. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent.